Within probably two weeks, really. Yeah. So I mean, it was a it was a whole process. So once I kind of got those offers, I kind of narrowed it down to where I wanted to go to, and I took uh, official visits to Mississippi State and North Carolina and Wisconsin, and then with that, within the next three days, kind of made the decision that I wanted to come be a Tar Heel. Why here? Obviously, you know, there's a kicker here who, who had some success last year. Why, why, why North Carolina? No, I really. Um, I think it came down to when I looked at all of the schools that I had offers from out of the portal. I really like. Um, I really like the staff here at North Carolina. I like the area in terms of being close to home, or closer to home, I you should say, with the other schools. But I, I think that we're on a really good path to do very well next year. And as a kicker, I think that's important for me in terms of uh, being able to score points and being able to get out on the field. And I wasn't sure how much I'd be getting out there this next season if I stayed at Cincinnati. We've heard so much about, about NIL and, and things like that. I wondered if, if any of that played a role, if, if you got offered anything, if anybody was like, hey, come here, we've got this, this yeah. working out. No, yeah, I definitely um, – I'm not going to put numbers or anything, but I'll say, yeah, it's, it's definitely a factor in the in the portal for sure, but um, it wasn't a part of my decision at all. I kind of just really wanted to pick the best school for me and the best uh, team, really, and coaching staff, all that area, everything that kind of played into what my, made my final decision come. But, but that comes up for guys in the portal. You're, you're oh, that's absolutely a thing. Really? That's absolutely a thing. It's, I mean, what people offer, what people offer, and what actually happens once you show up on campus is two different things. But it's definitely a, plays a role, and uh, for some people, not for me, but it was definitely for sure happened. We missed that. How many offers you said you had? Tonight? Said I had twelve. Uh, yeah, I had twelve offers coming out of the portal, and then, um, like I said, I told him I just kind of. Um, yeah, no, no problem at all. Um, but, yeah, I just figured out kind of what I liked of him the most in terms of schools and uh, the area, the coaching staff, really the whole situation as a whole. So I kind of picked those three. Like I said, I went to Mississippi State, Wisconsin, and here, and um, just kind of came to the decision that I really like North Carolina. I like the staff. I like the team and the program as a whole. So it was good. Your previous staff is at Wisconsin. Is at Wisconsin. Is that a tough decision to pick the two? Or Absolutely. Weather, what was the situation? There? Honestly, I really – the weather played a part. I'll say that it's it's cold in Wisconsin. So, um, but no, I think that uh, it really came down to North Carolina answered a lot of questions that I had that I don't think Wisconsin or Mississippi State could answer for me in terms of this next year and and really just the team aspect of really thinking and looking at the team and how that we're going to be projected to do next year. And I really like how um, how good we're going to be next season and uh, I think that I can play a, a big part and I can play a big part in um, helping this team win some games this next year so I'm excited for the opportunity. What did they discuss as far as the competition I mean, coming in Mel Burnett was kicker last year yeah you're a veteran guy what did that look like in those conversations? No I mean uh, like I said um, I think competition is uh, healthy for everyone I mean I know that um, Noah had some success this last year and I know that I had success this last season as well, so um, it's definitely something that I guess you could say played a factor, but at the end of the day, I'm going to bet on myself uh, regardless. So um, the competition is healthy, and I want him to do as, as best as he can because it's only going to make me better in the long run. So, I mean, I'm really I'm looking forward to the competition, and I'm happy to honestly just be here and finally uh, get used to being at school. Um, so I, it was probably within the day or two, honestly. Um, so I put my name in and, um, coach Porter called me first to kind of see whether or not I'd be interested in coming on an official visit and getting down to Chapel Hill to come on campus. So, um, they knew that there definitely was a need for them that they wanted. They wanted a guy to come in here with some experience. Um, like I come off of being a four-year starter previously, just having a good season at Cincinnati. So that was something that was interesting to them. And um, kind of what kept them interested was at first, um, people might not know this, but I was at Mississippi State and it was looking like I was going to commit there. And that's when Mike Leach actually died. So I was, uh, I was the last recruit to ever be in Coach Leach's office. So that was, uh, that, like I was with him Saturday night and the whole thing came out about him being in the hospital on Sunday morning. So it was not even 12 hours. So that's kind of, I had kind of told Coach Porter, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then when that whole situation happened, I kind of reached back mm -hmm. out and said, hey, listen, I'm really interested in coming here. And I'm happy that I did because it ended up working out and being a really good spot for me. So I was in Starkville when, not when he was pronounced, but yeah, I was, I was there. Yeah. So 